As I've mentioned dozens of times, I have a lot of shoes. No, it's not for a flex, it's for context. And because I have so many shoes, a shoe has to have a really cool, unique colorway, design, silhouette, etc., to make me wanna add them to Mont Shoe More. Whether it's because it's loud, whether it's a new technology, whether it's got a cool story, as long as it's something unique and different, I'm gonna take a look at it and probably add it, review it, talk about it, and wear it. And today's shoe hits all of those boxes. It's the second colorway in this whole collaboration between Odell Beckham Jr. and Nike. And while this one's more understated, while this one's more subtle than the previous multicolor, loud, rambunctious, obnoxious, ostentatious colorway, nevertheless, I love this shoe. I love the colorway. I love the materials. I love everything about this shoe. So today we're gonna to talk about the Nike Air Max 720 Odell Beckham Jr. Young King of the People. Hopes are high in Cleveland, Ohio for the beloved Browns this NFL season, thanks in large part to the arrival of talented, popular, and flamboyant wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr., who apart from his mind-boggling on-field abilities has a new Air Max 720 OBJ Young King of the People released just in time for the NFL season. Featuring a tan and gray color scheme inspired by sand dunes in his home state of Louisiana all the way to Egypt, Beckham's newest Nike shoe presents an inherently palatable look, quite unlike the wild, and therefore somewhat divisive, young King of the Drip colorway that released in June. The heavily layered upper is constructed from mesh, suede, and inspired by classic 90s Nike football turf designs, while the cork insole features unique designs from OBJ's Egyptian hieroglyphic-inspired Nike alphabet. Down below, a soft gray Air Max 720 midsole outsole finalizes the look. The Nike Air Max 720 Odell Beckham Jr. Young King of the People released on September 8th, 2019 and retailed for 200 US American dollars. On my right, we have the Young King of the Drip and on my left, the Young King of the People. Same shoe, same silhouette. However, you can see they are vastly different, especially when it comes to the colorway or should I say, obviously. One is way louder, one is more understated, but both have a really unique, loud look to them. And both feature that thick with two C's 720 airbag, which makes for a shockingly comfortable shoe. Seriously, when I put this shoe on, I forgot how comfortable this shoe really is. I don't know if it's because of the materials used. I don't know if they've made some changes, but these two OBJ shoes are far more comfortable than your regular run-of-the-mill general release 720. Yes, these have mesh and suede and leather and stuff like that that gives it a more luxurious, high-quality look and feel, and maybe that's the difference. I don't know, but I know that when I put it on and I walked, Oh man, it's super duper comfortable. I ordered my true to size, which is a size nine, which is what I wear in Air Force Ones, Ultra Boost, etc. And this seemed to fit just fine. If you can get a hold of this shoe or the other colorway or whatever and try it on and find your true to size, do that. That obviously works the best, but I'm pretty comfortable in saying this shoe will fit you true to size. It does come with two different laces. I have decided to keep the OG rope laces that are in that sand color, but you can use a different color. You get two different Velcro tongue patches. I decided to go understated with the sand beige color and the OBJ Rose hieroglyphic logo, but you can also take it off and there's the Nike Air branding underneath on top of the suede, comfortable, smooth tongue. One of my favorite things about this shoe is the back, the heel where the Air Max branding is debossed. Oh, it's such a buttery, smooth, suede material. Oh, and you find that type of material around, like I said, on the tongue. You find it on hits around the medial side of the shoe as well as the lateral side of the shoe. And a rougher suede underneath the lacing system where you find the Nike swoosh branding. And I have to say that I love that little hint of that volt red, hot pink, hot punch color that is on a tab attached to the tongue on both shoes. It's just a nice little like, hey, I know this shoe is subtle, but hey, I'm still OBJ, so I'm gonna be loud in some way, shape or form. Mm, it's a great tiny touch. 
the shoe is gonna look great in the fall. It's gonna look great in the winter. It has already that colorway. And honestly, I think you could wear it in the spring or summer too, just depending on how the rest of your outfit works. You can totally wear loud, rambunctious colors, and this grounds it on the bottom. Or you could just be beigey the whole way. Maybe you're going for a whole sand motif. I don't know, monochromatic? Go for it. Sounds good. Do whatever you want to do. If you rock it, rock it with confidence. But to me, this is going to look great in the fall. It's going to be very comfortable. I can't wait to wear this for business, for business casual, for casual, for fun. And I think I'm going to look good and definitely feel good wearing this comfortable shoe. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this colorway, what you think about the silhouette, and whether you agree with me that this is just oddly more comfortable than I seem to think other 720s are. Not sure why. Maybe they did something different. Maybe the air is more premium. I don't know. I just know that this one and the King of the Drip, super duper comfortable. Man, I'm shocked at how comfortable that silhouette is. And that's what I've got for the OBJ Young King of the People to all the people wherever you are. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill till the next episode.